In America, guns are sold like any other product, and those that market them rely on techniques found across the whole advertising spectrum, whether it's a TV, a razor, or a car. We're all familiar with ads that celebrate, in studio close-up, the sleek design and engineering of the product they're selling, because to many viewers, guns are cool, and advertisers know this. We see products that appear to be crafted with the finest elements known to man. In this Amiga watch ad, they claim the dial is made using fragments of a meteorite. This ad from Beretta begins with a sort of molten lava, which looks like it originates from the Earth's core. And then we cut to these master craftsmen, finally carving wood, like the samurai sword maker in Kill Bill. They appear to be creating an almost mythical piece of weaponry. In ads, we often see scientists in a lab, experimenting in order to perfect their product. Are viewers really paying attention to these details? Or do they just see a lab coat and assume something ultra-scientific is taking place? Assured that the product in question is manufactured to the highest standard. Laundry detergent brands have recently been poking fun at this advertising cliche. I'm the professional. I imagine because phrases like special formula are old hat now in their industry. New Tide plus Febreze Freshness Sport is specially formulated to clean and tackle odors. To maximize the threat-stopping performance of today's smaller pistols, the rock engineers developed a special formula. Smith & Wesson used this first-person technique, appealing to fans of video games like Call of Duty. Experience more performance. There is a sign for breathtaking performance. Experience more adrenaline. There's a general glorification of the military, which also has a practical element to it, as the army is one of the only places where weapons such as these actually have any sort of real world justification. Here in the UK, the British Army's advertising slogan is be the best. Don't join the army. Don't stand on my own two feet. This is not just a gun. It is independence, balanced with responsibility. Don't become a, a better me. It is built for the discerning few who lay claim to the same warrior spirit that inspired it. Not everybody becomes United States Marines. We want the best. These ads appeal to viewers who look up to the military, even if they would never have any intention of joining. They may just simply enjoy militarized video games and movies. Like young boys playing army with their first toy gun. That thing is ridiculous. <laughs> that thing is awesome. It's like when car companies have tie-ins with movie franchises, telling viewers, if you buy this product, you can be James Bond. These ads from Remington celebrate outdoor Americana, the idyllic sense of the old country, where hunting is a rite of passage. And in an effort to sell their clothing, they follow the fashion industry template, with the spring, fall, and winter collection. These are some of the more subtle and elegant ads, where the firearms aren't always the central focus. Instead, the ads appeal to a general sense of traditional American masculinity. And in this ad, again from Remington, there's a heightened sense of patriotism. A Mexican flag is replaced by the Stars and Stripes, an image that harks back to the Battle of Iwo Jima. The NRA, who aren't a gun manufacturer, but a guns rights advocate, naturally take a more politicized approach. Here's the truth about the Hollywood celebrities, political elites, and billionaires who attack the Second Amendment. They want you to surrender your freedom for a false promise of government-provided security they will never rely upon themselves. And a common NRA talking point plays throughout this series of ads from Glock. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Somebody picked the wrong diner. The tone of these ads are tongue in cheek, even though the agenda is clear. Is this because the message is inherently laughable? Or is it a clever use of comic distance 
to showcase these talking points without directly addressing them. Ads featuring women often play upon feelings of vulnerability. Here they use the horror movie cliche of the scantily clad woman alone in jeopardy. This ad portrays a day in the life of what must be Glock's ideal female customer, an independent, sexualized single woman who's in an inspiring position of power at the workplace. She likes to relieve the stress of her daily routine with a combination of yoga and a trip to the gun range. However, she also routinely fears for her safety. Gun companies want the average person to feel as though there could be danger lurking around any corner. The Second Amendment constitutional right that the NRA cling to is all about arming a well-regulated militia in order to stop the potential tyrannical rule of the government. Whereas in these ads, they claim it's not the government who are the direct threat. If anything, they're weak and ineffectual. To the Ayatollahs of Iran and every terrorist you enable, listen up. You might have met our fresh-faced flower child president and his weak-kneed Ivy League friends, but you haven't met America. Instead, it's their attempt to restrict gun ownership that would leave the average American at the mercy of criminals and terrorists. Now, violent gangs wage bloody turf wars every night. They have all the guns they want. So law-abiding Southsiders put their kids to bed to the sound of gunfire. The elites and their families will always be protected. It's the law-abiding average Californians who face nightfall alone with their faith and what's left of their guns. So companies like Glock suggest you are prepared in case that fateful day comes. Here concealed weaponry is normalized by portraying scenes of average Americans who just want to feel assured and confident in their lives. Confidence fits my lifestyle. Confidence fits my lifestyle. But how does confidence relate to gun ownership? Perhaps when you're being told to be on full alert at all times, it would be difficult to exude confidence if you are constantly riddled with fear. So being armed and ready is the only way to lead rich and successful lives. At least that's what they're selling as their idea of customer service is making you feel constantly terrified of what might happen because it's good for business.